Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Aries the Emperor here, back with another general reading for the Aries Collective. If you are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome. You know, I thought it was so funny. Somebody put asked in the comments, why are cross watchers welcome? <laughs> um, I never thought about it, I guess hey, Aries is the place to be, you know, who wouldn't want to spy and be a fly on the wall um, to see what's really happening in your life. So that's why they're welcome. You know, why block your haters, you know, let them have the front row seat if need be. I guess that's why cross watchers are welcome. Okay. So please take in mind this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take what does, leave what does not, place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy. Energy is all fluid, okay? Thank you guys, everyone who's liked and subscribed to the channel. Um, thank you for your donations. If you booked a reading with me, um, I will be sending readings out periodically. Make sure that I have an updated email address for you when you check out, okay, on the website. Um, and also, I have dropped a new candle. I think I'm going to put the candles on sale. I'm going to keep you guys updated in the community post. So make sure um, that you're paying attention. I saw in the comments as well, a lot of you guys said that you missed the sale, the last sale as well. Um, so I'm going to work something out. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, nonetheless, um, if you need to reach me, I'll leave all my info in the description box. Okay, let's jump into it. So Moon and Sagittarius. We all know is about growth and expansion, um, higher learning, philosophy, um, just going the distance, you know, not putting yourself in a box um, and never taking yourself too seriously as well here, but also knowing that there's always something to learn and gain out of life here. I'm also getting a lot of commotion um, in someone's life, whether you're the one causing the commotion or something or someone around you is wanting to cause commotion towards you. Um, it may be a playful energy, immature, um, an energy of beating around the bush as well, okay? just I just feel like it's, it's, it's not smooth sailing as of right now for somebody uh, when it comes to something here, okay? Let's jump into it. Let's get some messages from the tarot, Holy Spirit, angels, guides of the highest white light. What messages? Do you have for the Aries Collective? And Mercury retrograde is in full effect. I can feel it. Um, but Aries energy, the Emperor is the first card to come out, as well as the Four of Cups. Okay, Cancer energy. So, like I mentioned here, the Four of Cups is an energy of being stuck. Um, the Emperor is Aries energy, which is Mars. Mars is very action oriented. Um, cancer, so to speak, um, the Four of Cups is an energy of being stuck, um, not appreciative in a way, not really seeing the big picture here. And, and like I mentioned, it's, it's just an energy of missed opportunity as well. You may, someone may be feeling in that energy right now here, okay? You know, I feel like there may be big goals or big dreams or something that you're wanting to pull out of yourself here or um, just something different and something more. And I feel like emotionally, especially, you're needing to be fed here. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Something holding you back. This could be something that you've been keeping to yourself. King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This could involve an air sign. Playing games, mind games of some sort here. Um, stunting your growth here of some sort. Interfering. That or cancer. But it's really giving me the energy of somebody wanting you to be stuck and not seeing things for what they are here um, and distract you. Six of Wands. Not wanting you to celebrate yourself. 
Four of Wands, Aries Energy. All right, let's take a look here. This is like you and your energy and your power. You know, Aries moves with emotion, right? It's a doer. Impulsive. So I feel like someone is wanting you to stay stuck in that. And therefore, that'll stunt you wanting to do everything else around you. Or at least slow you down. Your potential is well beyond what someone has envisioned, imagined. Um, and this is someone who may be on a higher level than you or so, th so they think that they are, but someone who watches you from a distance as well. And they see the, the strength in you, the courage. But in a sense, it's like not wanting to see you celebrated, not wanting to see you on a solid structure, not wanting to see you forecasting things. It's not wanting to see growth because the type of growth you're capable of is one that has no cap. You know, it's intimidating. And like I mentioned, I mean, you may not be somebody where you may not feel that you are, are so accomplished or um, that, you know, you're better than anyone else. And I mean, that's the way to be, you know, to stay humble. But I just find it odd how the emperor is on both ends of the spread. You got the emperor... And you got the King of Swords. You got fire and you got air. Which is a combination, you know, that normally goes together well. But for some reason, you are knocking the socks off of someone's expectations. You look a lot more solid than thought before. You look like you're going a lot farther, like you're going places. Places that are not supposed to be opening up. Spaces that are not supposed to be opening up for you. In, in ways that they are. You know, it's how they say it's levels to things here. Well, you are spiritually ranked. And even in distraction, you know, they may slow you down for a little while. But the destination is, is still, you're right on track. You know, you're, you're still showing up. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, the Empress. Whatever commotion this is, they can cut it out. The Empress and the Emperor here. I feel like someone would be better off joining you rather than trying to come up against you. Um, and beat you. And as I said, join you. Guess what came out? The Three of Pentacles. That's coming together for a common cause, for a benefit. Whether that's to benefit you, the other party, or the both of you. Six of Swords. More air energy. This is Aquarius energy. Moving forward um, into to common ground. Common waters. Solid. I mean, not um, solid, but calmer waters. The moon card is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, but someone is still not coming out of um, their shadow side here. <laughs> yeah, nine of pentacles. Like, I don't, somebody's not going to give you their props, but please believe they respect you and you inspire them and you mean more to them than they're putting off and someone's watching you more than, um, than you know here. I feel like that's a message for someone. And at the same time, whatever this commotion is, I mean, this could doesn't have to be relationship-wise. I mean, this, like I mentioned, could be just something that you're dealing with here in life. 
but this too shall pass. Stay courageous, stay tempered, be strategic, be you, you know, be you. What other message is spirit? Two of Cups, yeah, somebody will be better off joining forces with you um, versus... Like I mentioned, trying to cause commotion here. It's more Aries energy at the bottom of the deck here. Eight of Cups, Pisces energy, Ten of Pentacles is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. You are someone who is valued on so many levels. And like I mentioned, spiritually being fed. And even if there's distraction or foolery to come in, um, I feel like you're focused, you know, enough to where you're not going to lose yourself in this or whatever this is um, that's trying to hinder you from growth. Keep searching, you know, keep higher learning. Yeah, four swords. Stay inside yourself. Let's close out the message, Spirit. The lovers in reverse. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yowza. Um, well, somebody's definitely upset with you or someone's feelings are up in the air right now. Because the lovers, Gemini energy and the four of swords, and then you have the lovers in reverse. Somebody's not at rest. The lovers, two of cups, that means someone wants more with you. And the four of wands, this is all coming together with someone. I didn't mean for this to be a love reading, but this is what this sounds like. Yeah, I mean, someone sees the value in you and is trying to figure out how to slow you down or intervene in some way, shape, or form here. Whether this is a jaded ex-lover, like I mentioned, we have Gemini here. We have um, Aquarius. Cancer. Sagittarius. Um, Leo. And it very well could be someone got in their ego for the moment. <laughs> Let me get one more. But Knight of Pentacles uh, is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Someone taking their time and calculating. Yeah. Two of Wands, but wants to take a risk with the Aries. Storm the world. Ain't that something? Let me find out. Oh. Oh. Y'all. I just said storm the world. Look. The world card was at the bottom of the deck. Thank you, spirit. Like I mentioned, let me find out. There's some type of power dynamic um, couple the three of pentacles is here as well you guys this is coming together for a common it's like somebody doesn't want to watch you do this by yourself or succeed by yourself or grow um someone wants in but like i mentioned i feel like emotions and their feelings are up in the air maybe they're not used to this and do, does not know how to to go forward but like i mentioned at the same time this is something very valuable um and Something that is worth growing and building. Um, either way, your growth, there is no cap. But <laughs> somebody would like a, to take a chance here, maybe on a, a higher level of commitment of some sort here is what this seems like.
I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, I don't know who this resonated with. <laughs> wow. Um, hit that like and subscribe button for more messages. And I'll catch you guys later, okay? Ciao.